Without further ado, let's give a warm welcome, a New Mexico welcome for Compass recording artist David Greer and Matt Flinner. Yeah. folks. Thank you. 
Thank you all. That's really nice. <laughs> that first song is a song I wrote. It's called Smith Chapel, and it's on my Lone Soldier CD. And the, the one we just finished, the second song is one that Matt wrote, and it's the first, first song on his solo CD. The CD's called The View From Here, and that song is called Red Shift. It's a little different, ain't it? I like it. Well, don't reckon we'd be up here playing if it wasn't for Bill Monroe. Hey, I don't know if y'all know this, but he's in four Hall of Fames. Did y'all know that, Bill Monroe? Well, he's in the Bluegrass Hall of Fame, of course. He's in the Country Music Hall of Fame. He's in the Songwriters Hall of Fame. And uh, he's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, I don't know who else could ever get into four <laughs> Hall of Fames like that. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? You know, Bill Monroe wrote a lot of cool tunes, and many of them I like. You know, the ones I like are the ones that hadn't been done to death, you know. Seems like everybody plays Blue Moon of Kentucky or uh, Wheel Hoss or something. But... Bill's written many great songs, and this next song is called Old Dangerfield. And he wrote this, what, late 70s, early 80s? He recorded it on a record called Masters of Bluegrass, which is a very great all-instrumental record that Bill Monroe put out. So, we like to ruin his tunes. <laughs> Old Dangerfield.
Everything okay out there? Okay. So it's kind of like playing in our own living room, except it's got a stage on it, I guess, with this mic. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm kind of liking it. <laughs> um, we're going to do a tune that I wrote that um, is on my CD and uh, actually wrote it um, in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, and I was playing bluegrass music out there for about a week in, in a few different places. and. Uh, I guess I gambled away that 20 or 30 bucks that I made playing bluegrass, and <laughs> I was pretty depressed and uh, uh, kind of homesick, and um, this tune sort of came out. I ended up naming it The Village Road, which is uh, the name of the road that, that I uh, lived on in, uh, in Wyoming, because 
it was the road to the village, and uh, there were not very many towns there, and so it was easy to name roads, I guess. Just the village road. Anyway, this David's going to kick this one off. It goes something like this. kind of going to do a jazz song here and uh, it's written by Sonny Rollins kind of famous horn player he wrote this song we kind of like it so I figured it out and I'd like to play it some it's called pent up house Thank you. 
do a song I wrote. Now for something completely different. <laughs> this one's called Have You Ever Been to England? And uh, it's a funny story. I was coming back from a festival late at night and I had like a three or four hour ride. And it's like two in the morning at this point. And so uh, Todd Phillips was driving, it was just he and I, and I was, you know, riding shotgun, kind of dozing off, and I looked over at him, and he was doing the same. <laughs> we were on this mountain, you know, real twisty, curvy, churny road, and no guardrails. I think the entertainment for the locals is just to watch people crash, you know. <laughs> so I figured I'd better start thinking of something to talk about quick so we could make it out alive. So, I, you know, I talked for about the first 10 minutes and pretty much exhausted my repertoire for conversation. <laughs> and uh, that's when I looked over and saw him dozing, you know. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I better think of something quick. So I had just gotten back from England a couple months ago, and, and I figured that he had been before, too, previously. So I thought, well, that might be something to talk about. So all tired and all, I look over there and he's driving. He looks and says, what? I said, one of those deals. I said, you've been to England? He goes, what? I said, you heard me. He says, well, it ain't none of your business. <laughs> I said, what? He said, you heard me. And he, I said, what, what, what are you talking about? And he goes, well, what did you say? I said, well, man, what I said was, have you ever been to England? He said, that ain't nearly what you said. I said, well, certainly it is, absolutely. You know, it couldn't have been nothing else. Have you ever been to England? Sat and thought about it, and then, you know, it's talking a little bit more, and I said it again, and it just come out, you've been to England. And then, <laughs> then it hit me. And we laughed the rest of the way home, man. I thought we was going to have to pull over because both our stomachs was hurting and tears was just flowing. 
So I wrote this song, and, and well, I'm real bad at naming songs. I'm terrible. I'm the worst at naming songs. Makes me glad I don't have any children. But uh, <laughs> So I named this one, Have You Ever Been to England? Just so I wouldn't forget the story. that we did with Todd Phillips as a trio, and it's called Phillips, Greer, and Flinner. Really original title of the CD. It's on Compass Records. And we, uh, we each wrote three tunes for the CD, and uh, we're going to do a couple of them right now. First one's David's, and uh, this yeah. has a title because the title is appropriate. <laughs> 
It almost didn't get to be named. It's called A Long Time Ago. And uh, so I ran the song past Todd, who, you know, played bass on the record and produced it. And he says, that's a stupid song title. I said, so we, well, why don't you think of something else? I said, well, man, I wrote it a long time ago. He goes, oh, well, that's perfect, man. <laughs> well, I don't know. So here it goes.
Well, like Matt was saying, this new record, I like it because it's different. You know, it's kind of jazzy, it's kind of mellow, kind of like that last song. And uh, But like he was saying, we each wrote three. I wrote three, Matt wrote three, Todd wrote three, so there's ten songs on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's nine, but uh, this next song's a really cool song, The Influence. I don't know where it came from, but it's cool. And my songs are all over the map, I don't know where they come from. Matt's come from sort of a jazz and bluegrass background. And, well, Todd's songs are all like this. <laughs> but, uh, it's kind of old after a while. <laughs> they all kind of sound alike after a while. <laughs> this next song is one of Matt's. He calls it Meridian. He do. See it is. <laughs> One, two, three. my CD panorama, I did a couple songs that Doc Watson's done. He did them on a record called Memories, which was a double CD, double record. Now it's out on a CD. And these songs are called Pear Tree and Double File. I like them because they're simple. Thank you. 
Thanks a lot. Uh, well, we're going to do one more and take a, a short break, and uh, we'll be out there by the CDs, and we only have about four or five, six hundred or so left. But um, this is really, by the way, this is really great to see all of you here. This is the first time that I've ever played in New Mexico, I just realized today. I'm sure, I know David's played here before, but yeah. uh, anyway, uh, thanks a lot for coming out. This is really a, a wonderful place to play, and appreciate you having us here. So we will uh, we'll be back in about 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 45, 55 minutes, something like that, and uh, we're going to do one that David wrote. This is on his Lone Soldier CD, and uh, then we're going to go into something that you might recognize after that. This is called That's Just Perfect, right there.
Thank you all so much. See you shortly. Thanks a lot. These guys got some of the, the best knockout CDs that I have ever heard. I have every one that David Greer has done, and, and now I have Matt Flinders, and Matt's uh, view from here is absolutely one of the best CDs I've ever heard. So get over there, get one, uh, have to have something to take home for you. And, uh,